the power of Flux AI's Pro features without spending a dime. In this text-to-image generator free Flux AI step-by-step -step tutorial, I'll show you exactly how to access Flux.1 Pro for free, right from your browser. If you're into text-to-image models, you won't want to miss this one. Today, I'll guide you through the simplest and quickest method to get started with Flux AI. I'm particularly excited about this because Flux is both free and open source, offering the ability to create stunning images in any style you can envision. But how does it compare to Midjourney? Flux AI has arrived, positioning itself as a direct competitor to Midjourney. In certain scenarios, it even surpasses Midjourney, particularly when it comes to photorealistic images. It also excels at generating text within images. The best part, this tool is entirely free and open source. In this video, I'll share a few free methods to harness the power of this AI tool. Flux AI is a product of the Black Forest Lab, heralding a new era of creation. As you explore further, you'll find examples showcasing the capabilities of this AI tool. The text generation within images is particularly remarkable, even when dealing with longer passages texts. The images appear impressive in terms of realism. We'll be testing all of these elements ourselves to ensure their quality. While these images may have been carefully selected, we'll thoroughly evaluate them. At first glance, the website looks promising, especially in its ability to produce illustrations, photorealistic images, portraits, and text. There are a few ways to access this AI tool for free. The first option is through Hugging Face. On their Hugging Face platform, you'll find two models Flux Schnell and Flux Dev. You can explore and experiment with both models directly on Hugging Face. To use Flux, head over to the Black Forest Lab space on the Hugging Face website. I will put a website URL link in this video description. There, you can select either the Schnell model, which is the most basic, or the dev model to generate your images. Flux offers three models Flux Pro, which delivers the highest quality images, but isn't free Flux Dev, designed for developers and Flux Schnell, which is perfect for personal use. Begin by selecting a model, such as Flux Dev, and you'll be taken to a straightforward image creation interface. The interface includes a prompt box at the top, along with advanced settings that let you adjust options like seed, width, height, guidance scale, and inference steps. While Flux Pro isn't available here, there's an excellent AI tool called Glyph that allows you to access Flux Pro for free. Glyph is a powerful AI workflow builder. To begin, click on Build at the top of the page. Sign up using your Gmail account. We'll start by creating three blocks, so click on Start Building with Glyph Blocks. You'll see a list of builders select text input and rename the block to my basic prompt. Be sure to use dashes between each word otherwise. The name won't be updated. Next, change the input label to enter your prompt. Next, click on the plus button to create a second block. Glyph supports LMs like Claude and ChatGPT, which can help you refine your prompts for optimal results. Select Text Generator LLM and rename the block to Prompt Enhancer in the Prompt field. Enter. Take the following image prompt and improve it so that it generates colorful, high-contrast images. Place the basic prompt block within the quotation marks. Under the Advanced Controls option, select the model I recommend using Claude 3.5 Sonnet. Next, add a third and final block by selecting Image Generator to create your image, then connect it to the Prompt Enhancer block. In the Image Generation Model dropdown, you'll find options like Flux Pro, Flux Dev, and Flux Schnell. Since we're aiming to use Flux Pro, and Glyph offers it for free, go ahead and select that. For the image size, choose Landscape 16.9. That's it, close all the blocks, and you're ready to start prompting. On the right, you'll see a prompt box with the label we created. Enter your prompt there. Here's how the workflow operates. It takes the basic prompt you provide, enhances its color and contrast using Claude 3.5, and then generates an image for you. Let's input a prompt that says, a woman with a surprised look on her face, and then run this workflow in Glyph. The tool first analyzes the basic prompt, enhances it, and then generates an image based on the optimized prompt. Here's the image it produced. Notice the realism and the subtle blur effect that Flux applied to create this image. You can expand the prompt enhancer block on the left to view the enhanced prompt. As you can see, Claude has taken our basic prompt and transformed it into a more refined and detailed version. When you compare the enhanced prompt to the generated image, you'll notice that all the elements have been accurately captured, resulting in a highly realistic and detailed image. Here are some additional images I generated. All you need to do is write your idea in the prompt box, and Claude will enhance it into a well-crafted prompt. I'm creating a variety of images for you to explore, using simple prompts. Flux has the capability to produce a wide range of styles, including realism, surrealism, abstract, impressionism, pop art, pixel art, chibi, gothic art, 
minimalism, fantasy art, steampunk, cyberpunk, concept art, manga, watercolor, vector art, retro, noir, low poly, and art nouveau. One thing I've noticed is that Flux AI is incredibly powerful when it comes to working with text. For example, if you want to display any text within an image, all you need to do is include the text in your prompt within quotation marks. Flux AI will then place your text directly into the image. This feature is something that isn't as refined in mid-journey. For instance, I added the name of the Learnify AI YouTube channel onto a board, and a lady was shown holding it in her hands. Here's a pro tip bookmark, the Flux AI page, so you can easily generate images for your daily needs. Before we conclude, I'd love to hear about your experiences with generating text to images using Flux AI. Please share your thoughts and results in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more great tutorials like this one. If you want to watch how I created entire song from lyrics using free AI tool, AI Music Generator, Suno AI Alternative, click on the left. If you're interested in how to make an animated video using AI, text to animation AI, AI Animation Video Generator, click on the right. Thank you for being part of this journey. Happy Learnify AI goodbye.